Welcome back. Sports, on, sports anchor Ronnie Duncan has been out at Detroit Lions training camp, and it's early, but expectations are really high. Jeff, in the words of the great Sly Stone, from Sly and the Family Stone, I want to take you higher. <laughs> <laughs> I had to try something stupid. Hey, look, the <laughs> Lions defense was ranked fourth best in the entire NFL. The man who is considered the mastermind behind it all doesn't like the spotlight. However, numbers like 6,460 yards of total offense, they do not lie. And for everyone in Allen Park that's trying to put a lid on those expectations, this Lions season has one guy who has some higher ones. He says he wants nothing but the best. I've always had high expectations on myself. Um, it didn't matter what position I was in, so to me it's business as usual. The proof has been Ben Johnson's resume for more than three years in the last two as the offensive coordinator have been results of excellence. The architect of the Lions offense has built something special here in Motown with Jared Goff leading the way. This past offseason, Johnson was in high demand as a candidate for many of the head coaching vacancies throughout the NFL. Still, he remained with the Lions, and while that may be a plus for the players, he doesn't exactly think so. Hey, truthfully, it, it's not about me, and it, it never has been. And so for them, I, I think it's, it's a player's game. They're going out there playing. Yeah, I, I'm, still, I'm still here, uh, whether they like me or not, I, I, I don't really know, but it, the, the fact of the matter is, like, it, it's about them, and that's the mindset we take as a coaching staff each and every day. It, it doesn't matter who is the coordinator, who's the play caller, who the uh, position coaches are. We're, we're here for them to make them the best players that they can possibly make this organization win as many games as we possibly can. Once again, it, it is not about me. I, this narrative that I'm back, like, no. This is, this is about our guys, man. This is about our guys right now. They're the ones going out there winning football games for us. And you're the one with the game plan. Hey, look, the Big Ten Football Media Day kicked off in Indianapolis today. Now, Michigan State's head football coach Mel Tucker was on stage. He let the world know he's looking forward to MSU's home date at Ford Field against the Penn State Nittany Lions. It's all going to happen November 24th. This is going to be a tremendous opportunity for our players, great exposure for our, for our program, uh, a national audience in a, in a, in a pro uh, football arena, which I, I think is going to be great for our, for our team. It's going to be a, a, a great game. We'll be in, in, the, in the Detroit area where we recruit. Uh, we have a lot of fans there. Um, so, you know, I, I think that it's a great opportunity. You know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm looking forward to it. Last year, the Spartans were one of only three teams that didn't make changes at their head coach, offensive coordinator, or defensive coordinator, more than half of their production is returning for the coming season. That means they could be real good. I'm Ronnie Duncan. That's a look at your sports. Three, two, one. No, I'm done. There's a lot of potential for all three football teams, the big ones in town between the Lions, Michigan State, and Michigan, to be something I special. I agree. Here's hoping. Thanks, Ronnie.